Um, you, you have indicated to me <coughs> that uh, when we carry all these resources uh, to the border, um, in fact, uh, it might to some degree uh, reduce safety in, in other areas. And, uh, of course, you know there was a great deal of discussion last session regarding, you know, an appropriation of $800 uh, million, north of $800 million. Uh, I'm not sure that there will be less discussion on that, uh, on that point, um, you know, as we get ready for this next budget session. But certainly, um, I think these discussions are timely, and I, too, uh, commend you on uh, giving us something that's broken down in this manner. It's very, very helpful. Having said all of that, uh, if I go back to Dallas County and say, yeah, you know, you, you have fewer people patrolling your area, and yes, you may be a little less safe uh, for the moment, uh, but this is what we have accomplished. So if I were to ask you, I realize that this is multifaceted. You know, there's no one uh, answer to this question. But if I were to ask you to tell me what were our greatest accomplishments? What do you really feel good about that we have accomplished with this additional, I, I think your finance uh, person said you already had three hundred and, and, and five million or so. And so, but for those additional uh, five hundred or so million that we put in there, what can I go home and tell people that we feel really good about? Well, I mean, I'll go back to the border security fundamentals that we we talked about just briefly. Is having the supporting infrastructures in place? Well, that question in the Rio Grande Valley, we've we've used those resources in the area where it is the, the most significant smuggling was occurring for not just Texas but the nation. Uh, we've increased dramatically increased our detection coverage as we dem demonstrated in terms of the technology and the stack that we've showed and the numbers we count and report in the 11 page report that you have and and the number of troopers that we've deployed down there in terms of interdiction capacity or, uh, or for uh, detection capacity but also interdiction capacity in terms of those resources we've applied down there uh, and and of course counting those things in the way that we've laid out i mean what is you know what is the level of smuggling what was it before and what is it right now and have we increased it to what level, okay, in each county? And so there's going to be some counties where, hey, the levels, I can tell you right now, there's counties where there's, it's unsecured, period. And it's, it is what it is, and minimal secured. And, but I, where I'm proud most of is that, that the two counties that represent the most significant threat to this nation as it relates to organized crime and transnational crime, crime, the Star County, the Rio Grande, and the Rio Grande Valley, and Hildago County, We've dramatically increased the, the detection coverage, the interdiction capacity, and it has, has had an impact in that area. It's a different game right now. You've talked to the chief of the Texas Narcotics Officers Association the other day when he's doing proffers with criminal subjects in the Dallas area saying, hey, the world has changed. They've had to move where they're getting their drugs from, okay, as a result of the operations that are going right down. Intel reporting from Mexico. We know what the cartels think, and we know the impact that we're having in that regard, and that makes, that makes a big difference. Now, Dallas is unique in the regard, I can tell you this. We, we were directed by the governor to, to work with Dallas uh, Police Department and Chief Brown and offer resources, and we continue to do so in terms to assist with the dramatic increases experiencing in terms of homicides. So we've got additional agents, special agents assigned to Dallas that we never had before, an entire gang unit working specifically in hot spots for Chief Brown. And of course, naturally, as a, as a result of this, this absolutely horrific event that occurred in his area, we, you, we can rest assured we had Texas State Troopers on the scene. We were there, Texas Rangers there, around the clock, special agents, anything the Chief wants. You know, we, were, we were there. And we'll do that anywhere in the state. And of course, there, there's, we will, wherever we take from, there's going to be some, there's going to be a public safety cost when we divert. But we're, you know, I can assure you this: we're only going to divert to those things that are the most significant at that time. 